after being uh, installing or designing the pipe it's not only that we what we look for is the care, the carrying capacity of that pipe we need to see what horsepower of the pump i need to carry that fluid or what pressure do i need so for that matter you have to calculate the total friction uh, that incurred or the total dynamic head so in agriculture or in drip irrigation or in sprinkler irrigation we use uh, hazen william friction loss formula very famous formula uh, in uh, you must have been uh, learned it in uh, jack keller larry g james and irrigation and even in the public health formulas but there are there are very complicated formulas so we just got got it simple for ourselves uh, and that's that's the proper uh, inner dia is the dia of pipe length is the length of pipe that we are considering that it will carrying uh, some amount of fluid and we want to calculate the friction losses uh, q is the flow rate it's a conversion factor and c is uh, basically the material factor we 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 will have a uh, uh, data for the material factor from the uh, tables which are being provided in next slides so if you are using this uh, conversion factor q with lph length in meter inner dia in millimeter you will get the friction losses in meters now uh, there are a second school of thought that hazen william is not applicable or it's not a very good formula for laminar flow yes it is uh, basically hazen william is uh, very good for the fully turbulent flow uh, but in pakistan and in irrigation system the entire industry is using hazen william so that's why i've just mentioned it uh, here i just mentioned the hazen william formula by the way for drip letter you have to uh, you you must know that in drip letters normally the flow remain laminar so in that case you have to use the darcy welsbeck equation but overall in the industry nobody cares about the darcy uh, everyone is fan of hazen william might be the reason that it's very simple to use uh, in darcy welsbeck you have to go for the modi diagrams and renault number and all that so might be due to simplicity uh, the, uh, the in the use of uh, hazen william uh, everyone even in the industry of uh, in the entire industry of irrigation system in pakistan even the consultant the government department the supply services companies prefer hazen william but remember hazen william equation in this form is valid only for the pipe that has only one outlet like uh, th these are the material factors <coughs> like here you can see the for plastic it's 140 to 150 if you use 140 you will be on a higher side on a separate side if you use 150 you will be on a lower side of friction losses so i always prefer uh, to use 140 because uh, with the continued edging of the pipe the friction losses increases so we have to account it for uh, earlier during the design factor so i always go for a 150 uh, sorry 140 that is a practical uh, situation now for example consider a pipe of any given dia uh, a 10 liter per hour of water is entering in the system and after traveling to certain extent or to certain distance the same 10 liter per hour discharge from that pipe so in that case in this first case you can use has a William formula in its basic shape that is the one this one right but what if 10 liter of water is entering the pipe but while leaving the pipe on the uh, final point you have only two liter per hour now how to calculate because now we have a varying velocity uh, sorry varying fluid capacity for example from in section one we have 10 liter in section two uh, as 2 liter already being drained from the pipe so we have 8 liter 6 liter 4 liter and 2 liter so now we have two methods to calculate number one to use hazen william in its basic form for section one keeping the length of section one and flow as 10 liter per hour then calculating again for section two with 8 liter per hour and length of section two then section 3 with 6 liter per hour and length of the section 3 then section 4 
with two liter, uh, four liter per hour and length of section four, and then section five with two liter per hour, and then adding up all these, which is very laborious. For example, in drip irrigation, um, we might have a um, the sub main length might be around 100 meter, or even it can be around 200 meter. And uh, we are uh, taking the outlets from this sub main at 6 meter. Now it's, it's become very laborious to calculate for the, uh, uh, around 33 or 34 outlet different sections. So we have a solution to it as well. We introduce the factor F with a basic uh, hazard William formula. The factor F. Factor F is basically the outlet factor. And uh, for outlet factor, we have this formula as well. You can uh, have a worksheet or an Excel worksheet, and just putting the number of outlets, you will get uh, the friction losses and their section. Also, you have these tables from uh, Larry G. James, but I'm using this formula directly because. Uh, uh, here it's 1, 2, 3, we might have 16 or 100 or 200 outlets. So that's why uh, I always use the formula uh, that uh, uh, I'm probably I'm just uh, skip, I am uh, forgot to mention the F formula. Uh, but the, it's very clearly mentioned in Larry G. James that we have a F formula. You can uh, put in that formula the number of outlets and you will get the F factor and then uh, calculate the hazard William uh, for the entire pipe like in this, in this section. For example, this entire pipe length is 100 meter. So you have to calculate hazard William with a hazard William formula for a length of 100 meters and flow of 10 liter per hour for the in considering that the entire flow entering at the pipe will be available at the exit. That's an exemption. So after calculating the friction losses, you have to uh, multiply it by the F factor. So you will get uh, the actual friction losses. For example, in previous slide, the outlet are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 outlets. So how to calculate? Now just come here. This is 5. And again, the 5 we have 0.397. So, if we calculate the friction losses with the hazard William formula and it come around uh, 10 meter, then after multiplying with the 0.397, we will get 3.97 meters. So, that will be the actual uh, friction losses in that pipe. 